Hi, I'm Mary Proslow. I'm an artist and I love to make lino prints. So I'm going to tell you a few things about making lino prints today. Um, the print I'm going to make is of a swan, a couple of swans actually. A couple of years ago, I had a show at Grand Prairie, um, the Grand Prairie Art Gallery, and um, I had a lot of birds in that show. And I knew that Grand Prairie was a place that's often called the Swan City. So I wanted to make some birds that were really applicable to that city because that's where my show was. So this is this is a couple of swans to celebrate the swans that come to Grand Prairie. First of all, I'd like to show you the kind of tools I was using then. I use different tools now, but these are hand pulled prints. They're not uh, photocopies. They're not printed on any kind of machine. They're done all by hand. So I'll show you how to do that. The uh, tools, you can find these in any craft center. There's a whole bunch of little tools in the handle and you just unscrew the top and screw the tool in that you want to use first in that top piece there. So those are the tools I used at that point. Quite cheap and quite useful. And this is the lino. I use lino a lot. Sometimes I use wood. Sometimes I use other things, but uh, mostly they're lino cut prints. And this is a piece of kind of rubber lino. And these were used at the beginning of the 19th century to begin with, when there was a lot of industrialization around and I guess they had plenty of lino hanging around. So that's what they used to carve. So that's what you use. You use the tool got a sharp edge on it and it can carve into the lino so that when it's carved it looks like this. Hi there. Well after you've carved out your plate and you've got your image nicely on the plate then you make the print. So I'm just going to show you how I do that. I use ink, of course. This ink is called a Kua ink, and I quite like these using this. There's all kinds of inks. Um, you just have to find out the one that you like the best, and I quite like this one. And I use something called, it's a roller. It's, it has a special name called a brayer, and it rolls the ink onto the plate. So I'm just gonna put the ink on my plastic plate here so that you can see the way I roll it out and then I'm going to ink up my plate which is just here. So hopefully you can see everything that I'm doing. So here comes the ink. Just lay it out on the plastic plate here. Maybe you can see it better if I push the a bit better. Maybe. Sometimes it comes out it's a bit stiff and sticky. This seems quite nice. So you give it a little I use I use these uh, quite thick palette knives. They're often used by uh, builders and so on for putty, putty knives. So I draw down my ink with my knife, with my putty knife. And then I roll out the ink onto the roller. Get the roller completely covered. It's very easy to miss pieces. That's why you go like this. If you went like that, just one little area of the roller would get covered. But this covers all the areas. So that's 
when that's nice and covered, then you can begin to put the ink on your plate. So here I am inking up the plate. Uh, make sure that it's inked this way. Put some more ink on the roller and ink it this way. And ink it diagonally. take a little look at it and is it shiny is it kind of shiny with ink in all the spots that I want it to be shiny with ink and I think it is so now I'm going to put it on this special board that I have and it has a nice rim as you can see right around the edge I've got another couple of pieces of lino here because it's not quite thick enough to print properly. So uh, this boosts the plate up a little bit so it's a little bit higher, just tiny bit higher than the edge of this board. So this is, makes a nice band around the edge so that I've got a nice white border to my print. So I'm gonna get a nice piece of paper, which I've chosen, a piece of print paper. I'm gonna take a trial copy and see how it works. See my paper? I had to cut it up ahead of time. I put the nice straight edge on the straight edge here. Push it in. Put my finger on it and let it go down. And that's where it stays. Then I have this special tool. It's called a baron or a baren if you're Japanese. They're Japanese and uh, you can use a you can use a spoon you can use a wooden spoon or you can use a, a hard roller and this is a special tool called a baren and uh, it's got little ball bearings on it so that when you press it gives you a nice surface to push the ink into the paper Go round and round, up and down, cover the whole paper. I can take a sneak peek, see if it's ready. What do you think? Do you think it's ready? I think it's quite ready. So here we are with the print. I think it's just about ready to come off. So this is an exciting time. It's called the reveal. So I'm just gonna lift it up and we'll have a look and see if it's good enough to put in the frame. And there you are. I'll have a good close look at it and see if I like all the bits and pieces. Sometimes you get little pieces on. That looks like a little bit of fluff. So I'll have to do another print because I can't put up with little bits of fluff all over my print. So I've got a piece of fluff there. It's okay, but it's not perfect. So I'll do another one. And uh, yeah, so they turn out really well. I love the black and white. It's very graphic and it makes the animal really stand out. So you get a sense of the swan being in the pond with his mate close by. There you go.